Now, I'd like to tell you an Irish tale if I could. And this is a tale of Cahoolan. Now, when Cahoolan was a young lad, he was living with the high king at Tara. And there came to the high king's court one day a great and mighty prophet. And the prophet said, whoever shall take up arms this day will die young, but become a great hero. And Cahoolan said, ah, oh, that's for me. That's truly what I wish is to become a great hero. And he went and he picked up a sword and it broke in his hands. And he went and he picked up another sword and it broke in his hands. And he went and he picked up a third sword and it broke in his hands. And in despair, Cahoolan went to the high king and he said, oh, high king, the great prophet has come this day and said, whoever shall take up arms will be a great and mighty hero. Oh, high king, it is truly what I wish. But every sword I pick up, it breaks in my hands. Oh, high king, let me lift up your sword. And the high king looked at him and said, if you can, boy. And Cahoolan approached the high king's sword and he grasped that sword and he hefted that sword and it didn't break in his hands. And the, high, and the prophet came to him and said, well done, Cahoolan, you shall be a great hero. But first, you must have a hero's training. You must sail eastward to the Isle of Shadows, what today we would call the Isle of Sky. And the Isle is booby-trapped, and you must make your way to the center of the Coolin Hills. And there waiting for you will be the greatest warrior of all time. And you'll be engaged in single combat. And heed my words, Cahoolan, you could die at any moment. Well, Cahoolan set sail. He made it through all the booby traps, came to the center of the aisle, and there waiting for him was the greatest warrior of all time. And they engaged in single combat. And Cahoolan learned very early on that indeed he could die at any moment. But after a while, this warrior stepped back and said, you'll do, I'll train you. And this warrior's name was Scarath. And Scarath was a woman. So in the Irish legends, it was a woman who trained the heroes, not a man. 